In this demonstration, we will show how to create an API spec and a mock application using Mashery Enterprise. Let's start by naming a new API spec. It will be called Products version 1.0. Next, we're going to create the first of two REST resources. Products will return a complete list of all products. We're displaying a page with no defined parameters or headers, so we will need to define a response. We create this based on a simple response, which is converted into a JSON schema. Fill in the sample data, generate the schema, give it a name, and save the response. Next, let's create a second resource that fetches just a single product. We will call it product and add a path parameter of product ID. Again, we create a response, repeating the same procedure that I just demonstrated to create a schema and response. Now we can look at a preview of what the API will do. This verifies that the API definition is correct. From the list of API specs, we will now create a mock application. A mock application generates a virtual REST endpoint that can be used for testing purposes. We will call it Products Mock. Clicking Create will upload and deploy the mock application. Now that the endpoint has been created and deployed, up to this point, we've defined an API and tested it. Now let's publish it to Mashery to put it under API management. we enter the credentials for the Mashery area we are going to use. We are given a list of defined APIs. For the demo, we will be adding a new API. Click on the new definition and enter the name Products. Select Products from the list. We can now select which operations to publish. Let's keep all selected and click Next. Here you see an option for packages and plans, which allows you to package APIs as products, define and manage user communities, and set access controls. This topic is covered in more detail in another video. Select a package and plan to add the API to and click on Publish. We can now view the API definition. Everything we need for managing the API has now been created, but the API is not yet accessible to anyone. To do this, we go to the Access Control Panel. In this example, let's give everyone access to the API. The API is now available to anyone who has registered for the starter plan. Next, let's make the API available via the Developer Portal. To do this, go to IO Docs and select the product's API. Remove the default definition and add a completed IO Doc definition. Click Create. Navigate to the portal, refresh, and the API is displayed. Finally, we can now test the APIs in the portal to mimic the developer experience. Click on List Products and then the Try It button. We see the result from the mock application. We can enter a value and click it to see a sample response. And there you have it, API creation from modeling to external publishing.